So number one, the first question in the paper, one of the 2023 advanced higher. Two marks for this little differentiation here. Find divide by dx. Well, it's just a little product, isn't it? Differentiate 7x, that'll be 7. Leave that one alone. Now you've had your turn, that one waits. Now differentiate tan, that's sex squared of whatever. The whatever was a 2x. So that gets multiplied by the derivative, which was a 2. And essentially that's it done, apart from doing 2 times 7. I'm not going to bother taking out the common factor of 7. So 7 tan 2x plus 14x sex squared 2x. Not a lot to it. So number two then, three marks for express this in partial fractions. You've got a repeated linear factor in the denominator, but you know what to do with that. So you'll have one for that one, and you'll have one for the x minus one, and then the same again with the x minus one squared. Right, putting that back into a single fraction would give you this. That numerator should equal that numerator. Just You can just effectively think of cross-multiply. So A will be multiplied by the x minus 1 squared. B will have to have the x plus 3 and another x minus 1. And the C just needs the x plus 3. And that lot should equal this numerator. 3x squared minus x minus 14. Right, we'll just knock out. Just use the knockouts. I'd rather get a first, so I'll knock these out. So if you make x equal to negative 3, negative 3 would make that a 16 when you square it. 16 lots of 8, then we'll just have to feed it into this side over here. So that'll be 27 and 3 and minus 14, which comes to 16, which is very handy because that makes a equal to 1. That's the first one. Right, that one's done b. No, we're not going to get B. C, knock out the, make it equal to 1. So, with that knocked out, that'll be 4 lots of C. Those numbers are easy with just 1s. It's just going to be 3 minus 1 minus 14, which comes to a negative 12. So that would be C equals negative 3. Now, there's no more knockouts, so I'm going to go for the x squared terms. Just mentions these two. So the x squared terms would be, you've got one of them here, you've got one in that expansion, and that comes to three altogether. Well, you know that a is one, so that means that I'll put it in. I'll just do that, what I do for? So one plus b is three. I just wanted them to line up here, but I've made more of a mess. So b would have to be two. Now just put it all together. So all together it came to one over x plus 3, plus 2 over x minus 1, but minus, so I'll put that at the front, 3 over x minus 1 squared. 